Hey guys, this is Davis again from Davis Comic Finds. And today I've got a, another pretty good size haul. It's been a while since I've done a video. Just been busy. and uh, But I've still been picking stuff up. Uh, got a few stacks. Got a CGC order back. <coughs> they only screwed up two slabs. Uh, I've got to send those back and get those labels fixed. Um, but uh, I'll get those done and and show those in another video. Uh, but uh, anyways, we'll just get started. We'll just dig right into it. I guess we'll start off with a piece of original art. So, so this was uh, and I forget <coughs> his name. That's terrible. But he posted on <coughs> on. Um, uh, Twitter um, that he was uh, he had some books that he'd listed for sale there's some pages he'd listed for sale and um, I think his last name is Vines I cannot remember his first name anyways um, so I got a couple or I got a, a, a page from him and he threw in a few prints with it so here's an inked Arthur Adams <coughs> uh, print that he'd done I think that's like classic X Men one, and then he just that's his inks over the pencils, uh, print of it. And then this is an old man Logan. I can't remember which issue, but that's the inks over that cover. Uh, and then he also threw in, if I can find it really quickly, uh, he threw in a, a signed Futures End number eighteen. So these were all freebies. And then what I got was, I really like Red Robin. I like the series. I read it in college. And this is from issue 7. This is page 16. It's a great Red Robin, or Red Robin page, fighting page. And I really liked it. I think it's $100, which is not bad for original art. Marcus 2 did the pencils. And Vines, Dexter. I think Dexter Vines did the uh, inks. So... So I got that. Um, I'm happy. I mean, the freebies are much appreciated. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking about putting, finding the place to put the page up because I really like. I mean, that was a that was one of my favorite series in college. And uh, gosh, it's been so long ago now—10 10, 10 plus years ago now. But uh, but anyways. Uh, Thought it was a pretty cool page. Uh, next up, uh, let's just start in this. This was a freebie, I think, and uh, I got with a comic. I don't know what comic it was, but uh, just League like Odyssey 20. I mean, that was a throw in. Uh, a friend of mine sent the, uh, gave these to me. I ordered a book from him, and he sent me these two. I've got issue three, and uh, I've, I've not finished it yet, but she wanted two of the Superman Year One by Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. Um, and this is the book I bought from him uh, Raphael number one the second print so I've got the first print and this is a pretty nice copy of the second print so happy to have that uh, how about some local pickups let's do some local pickups um, got this locally figured I, you know, I didn't have this one I've got most of the Fury, Nick Fury Agent of Seal series from the 60s. I've got all the Stranko issues, uh, but I found uh, issue 12 locally. I found these locally. Uh, Love and Romance number 49. I didn't pay much for these. Uh, this is from 1954, maybe. It's Atlas wedding cover. And then uh, Patsy and Hetty number 42, another Atlas from the mid 50s. So, happy to add those. We found some Batman Beyond, so I got number three. And number four, I think this is volume two or three. This might be volume three. Uh, I've always wanted this. I found it locally. What if Conan the Barbarian was stranded in the 20th century? Just really like that cover. Uh, grabbed a Star Wars issue 12. Been picking those up as I see them uh, for good prices. This is another one I pick up if I see it in good prices. Anything from Craven's Last Time. 
So there is uh, Peter, Spe Peter Parker Spectator Spider-Man number 131. Uh, thought these were awesome. I don't see this stuff very often. I got them for a pretty good price. Batman Gotham Adventures number 51. And number 53. Uh, and then these, I need to go by and see if they, he still got the other issue of this that he had. But Gotham Girls 1 and Gotham Girls 2. I think he had issue 4 as well. Uh, this is a mystery box, actually, that I got. Uh, and uh, this is what was in it. And I thought I'd share what was in it. Uh, I have no clue anything about this. FKZ number one. Kind of Vampirella Dark Powers. Uh, we Live. It's another Aftershock. These were kind of just to throw in books. Black Panther number 23. Uh, and then the good books are right here. So you got Amazing Spider Man issue one. This is $8.95. I think that's Del Auto. Uh, a Miles Morales, 35. I thought that was cool. Venom number three. This is a Ron Brown. Uh, Hulk number five. I can't remember who did this one. And then another Hulk. I can't remember what issue this one is either. It's a Virgin cover. And then the cool one, the In Hyuk Lee Silk. That's issue one. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool mystery box, I thought. Uh, so, that's those books. I told you there were several books. I got another stack right here. Uh, this top one I got because I got a page from this comic. This is actually hard to come by comic. Uh, it's The War Wagon by Dale. I actually have an original page from this, so that's why I got it, just to go with the original page. Uh, I snagged up a Star Wars issue three. I didn't have an issue three. I got like one and two, but I didn't have a three. And then this next stack, this is a series that I've been wanting to get copies of. I've only only had one issue of it, so I just found a lot and got the whole series. Uh, but it's Watchmen. So there's issue one and two and three, four. Five, six, seven. It's a 12-issue series, so we got a few more. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoop, dropped it. Eleven, and issue 12. So have that full set now so I'm happy to have that um, so next up let's do some let's do a Batman next so this is one that my good buddy Kyle told me that I needed to have in my collection uh, and I thought I saw this copy it's a pretty nice copy of it and I thought why not just trust Kyle and uh, get a copy of it. So this is Batman issue 156. And like I say, it's a pretty nice copy of it. It's a pretty good price too, I thought. So happy to have that one in the collection. But next up, that one was not on my list for the year. These were. So I'll grab these books right here. Uh, so I've got a list for the year, as you can see. Uh, don't have the ASM one, the Boy Commandos, Yoshagi, Batman's all left. So I've got a few Batman issues. So, <clears throat> so one of the ones on the list was Batman 204. So I snagged a copy of Batman 204. I also needed a copy of Batman 206. Snag that up. Uh, 212 is also on the list. Snag that. Um, I 
I got a little out of order, but two two oh eight was also on the list, so I snagged that. And then I found a, a low grade copy of it locally. This one's really low grade, you can see there. But I've got two copies of it now. But I'm okay with that. And two seventeen was also on the list. So um, that was the, everything on the list, actually. So uh, I have finished that run of Batman. Um, that was issue, um, I think that gives me 201 to 261, maybe. No, that gives me 200 to two, I'm going to go 199 to 260. So that's 204, 206, 208. 217, 212, that man is off the list. So that man's done. But wait, there's more. So I got another stack of books right here. These are um, Usagi books. So you can see I was missing several Usagis. So let's go through these. First off, we'll start off with the critters. We got critters 22, 24, and 38. So there's a watchman type swap with that one. And there's 24. And then 38's got a nice soggy cover. So I thought those were cool. So off of my list, we got 19, 20, 21. Twenty-nine, thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-six, thirty-seven, and thirty-eight. So the only issue I'm missing now. Is issue 35 and I can't find it for a price that I want to pay uh, I think it's probably a 10, a 10 to 20 dollar comic everybody online is asking $35 minimum uh, I'll just hold out and see if I can get one for a little cheaper I'll try I'm gonna try to get it this year regardless but um, I can't finish that one out until I get that issue but I'm still I'm only issue, missing issue 35 of Usagi, and then that'll be done. Then it'll just be Spider-Man and Boy Commandos. But I got a couple more Usagi books. Uh, I thought, well, might as well go ahead and do volume two, because it's only like 17 issues. And it's Mirage. Uh, so I got, I found a good price on issue one and issue two. Let's see if I can get a better look at that one. Issue two. Um, so I've got uh, 13 and 14 and 3, 13 and 14 years on the issues of that one I've got. So I might be able to complete issue 1 and 2 of Usagi uh, this year. And I actually have absolutely no, if, uh, no issues of Volume 3, which is the Dark Horse uh, one. So it was like Fantagraphics, then Mirage, then Dark Horse. I have no Dark Horse issues of Usagi. So... And it's over a hundred issues. I don't know if I'll get started on that one. That's that's a tough one, but uh, I guess we'll see. See what time time will tell whether I go for that one or not. But uh, I got a few slabs too. I'll show and finish this out. Um, uh, first off is one that I purchased as a slab. Um, this is the first appearance of Tomo Tomo. Aim and Lord Noroyuki. It's got a pinup of Usagi Ojimbo. This is actually the second appearance of Usagi. I believe the first appearance is astronomical. Albedo issue two is outside of most people's price ranges. But Albedo three, I got this one for a good price. It's a 7.0, so it's not high grade. But uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, so Albedo issue number two, or number three, I should say. Uh, this is from uh, 4 of 85, so that's that April of 1985, and it's got the cool Usagi pinup on the back. So, yeah, happy to add that to the collection. Um, 
So grab that. Uh, here are three of the five books I got back from CGC. Like I say, two of them were the labels were off. Uh, me and my buddy Kalula Comics are going to get that sorted out and get those fixed. But uh, but here's the here are the other three. So uh, I I was hoping for one grade higher on all these. You know, you, you don't always get what you want. But uh, uh, I've got a DMZ number one. I've got $25 in this book. I probably will not keep it. Uh, but it's DMZ number one. It came back in 9.4. I was hoping for a 9.6. Um, but it's what it is. 9.4 came back on that one. Um, this one I was hoping for a 9.8. Came back in 9.6. I mean, I've got cover price plus full four dollars. I've probably got thirty bucks in this one. Uh, so it's Invincible Iron Man number seven. This is the first appearance of uh, Riri, Riri Williams in cameo. So that's issue seven of Invincible Iron Man. And then the last book, I've got a little more in this one. Uh, this is a book that I had when I was a kid. I still got my original copy, my original newsstand copy. It's in rough shape. Uh, so I sent this one off instead, but it came back in 9.2. This book has heated up a lot in the last few weeks, I guess. I sent it in, I sent it in before they really talked about it much. But uh, it's Hulk 449 from January 1997. I remember buying it off a copy of this off a of newsstand. Came back in a 9.2. That's about what I expect. I was hoping for a 9.4, but uh, I'm good with a 9.2. I always joke with uh, Cholula, he does my pressing for him. I'm like, ah, I could have got a great hire if I'd sent it to Erod. But uh, Cholula does a really good job and he helps me out a lot. I really do appreciate all the work that, that he puts in and uh, the help that he does. But, uh, but anyway, that's the books that I got back from submission. One more book. Well, one more. I'll show two books, but it's one more book. Uh, this. Uh, really excited to be able to do i got a um uh, for my prior job esop blah 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 you know i don't care uh, but i got a little bit and i thought well i'm gonna upgrade one of my amazing spider-man and this is the one i picked so here's the original it's got a cool date stamp on the middle of it in the middle of it which i hate to give up but i'll probably sell this one uh, so this is amazing spider-man number 11 in a 2.5 off white to white pages, second appearance of Doc Ock, uh, first appearance of Death of Bennett Brand. Uh, cool Spider Man label, but it's 2.5. And I thought, well, I can get a little bit better grade and kind of trade up. So, what I ended up getting was uh, this one right here. Still off white to white pages. Um, all those things are the same, except it's a 4.5. So two great points higher. I'll be honest, they don't look that different to me. The 2.5 and the 4.5, but uh, but I mean, still cool to have a 4.5. So that's definitely an upgrade. I'll probably list this one uh, on eBay as 11 and uh, recoup some of my money that way. But uh, Golly, that's a lot of books to get through in 20 minutes. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you liked. Um, almost done with the Usagi Volume 1, so kind of happy about that. Uh, and almost done with the Usagi Volume 2. So I'm going to try to do that before year end. And I'm still looking for a Boy Commandos book. Uh, I'd like a high-grade copy. I've just not seen anything that I just really wanted. I've seen some 8.5s come up. Uh... But I, I just didn't I didn't want that particular issue that particular cover so uh, still go keep my eyes out would like to try to find a high grade um, uh, crazy quilt appearance I've got his first and second appearance in high grade uh, so I mean third fourth I mean I'd be fine with whatever uh, but I'd like to find one like that if I could but uh, but anyways let me know what you think um, let me know what your favorite thing was, and uh, as always, have a great rest of the day.